Okay, hello everybody. Ready for you, little Jeezy. Well, I just got back from New York Comic Con 2022. I was supposed to log up for this convention when it go around that time, but yeah, it's kind of a true story how this is when it happened. And I sure has made a good haul out of this whole convention is like going on. Like, you know, they got nonsense, so we're just gonna go over like each items around here. I just show the products around that I just like got here. Just to like briefly describe. I will go over all the, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff around that time and maybe all those few items that kind of like less support. Because I think this overall is like, phew, I can just bank so much on this con on that time. Like, I didn't spend that much. I spent a lot on the Konami booth. It's like two, three hours around that time because I had to went back and forth around that time to do a photo up. I had a quick get back up and I had a panel and then suddenly I spent like two hours minimal to do that. It's like I could have seen my gold chip coin, so Billy, I would have a good chance of winning to do that. I, I didn't even get the rescue rabbit, but oh, it was like legit worth it. But it's kind of a use of how, how my overall experience in New York Comic Con went through. I didn't buy that much, but yeah, only two things I bought. And a few things I just gonna showcase. So we're gonna go over them. I had to be sure I got the I got the Dragon Ball booth when I surprised I was age twenty seventeen. Yeah, this really happened around that time. So I just got the you know I got in Friday after school hours. So I had to swing over to New York Comic Con just to get in. This is a good background. That is a theme. There is me right there. Age twenty seventeen, which is like crying for Dragon Ball Super. I should just do a new cosplay for you know. You can like, see the icon from here. You're going to see Clary. They're going to be 17. Bone of Frieza. Beerus. Yeast. Master Goshi, Krillin. Piccolo. Gohan. Goku and Vegeta. So yeah. This is worth it. It's like to do this with Dragon Ball Boots. So we got that cover. Another Lania for Crunchyroll. I'm just going to put that as almost separate. <sighs> Yeah, tag on Titan on pin. I got the um, another mask. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a non con I think on that side. I was like, yeah, from the Vince Media booth. Con badges. I know I had a four day pad on a Friday. I surprisingly, I put the Friday badge on the last minute, and then yeah, I tried to hustle my way to get in. And I, I was like, okay. I had a Friday bears, I had to trade my two, my other two bears. So I know this is evidence around that time because with the Friday bears around there, I was like, I want to get in. So like I spent hours on the con. So I know who I'm going to be running into. So yeah, that happened. And then the other two badges, yeah. So I'm keeping like the, the Friday badges like a souvenir. That least I just know for sure. I just like came out from school, which I should have traded my two badges just to like get a four day ba badge just to go around Comic Con. I know because I have to be going up and down trying to find some friends to hang out with. At least on the last day, I just like made it a little worth it. It's like kind of common. And then a lanyard, and I got like um, I got like a signed print autograph by Alice and Tabitha. Well, aside, I wish I did like photo ops around that time, but I had to pull the trigger. I had to like all meet her since I was not gonna go to Whole and I don't know if she was gonna be there, so I got an autograph. I know if like my dad was kind of crazy, but. I'm gonna keep, you know, cosplay prints into like a um, folder, so just like keep it a good condition. That's for sure. If, if I'm like collecting cosplay prints, this could be like how your cosplay journey, how you go like meet everyone at a convention like this. So it just really affects cosplay community. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. I'm gonna buy prints with cosplayers around there. Like, you're asking my friend, you're getting your artwork. That's like symbolism right there. If I just meeting a person, they get a pick. She was so nice. She was a sweetheart. She has TikTok and Instagram. Go follow Allison Tabitha on her Instagram. So I give a shout out to her. She's nice to time. I know I know I just like swing over the booth. Like, I'll see her in person to just like cross down my to-do list. So that was so worth it. Okay. Now I got some of the small stuff out of the way. Let's get onto the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff now. <laughs> so I spent Saturday two three hours. Well, Hour and a half, 45 minutes, and then an extra hour that I had to go back for like for the rush duel from the Nintendo Switch. I haven't really placed like the rush duels and the, um, the Nintendo Switch. I and mean, then, yeah, I know how I gotta buy it off on, on, the, on the Switch product in the eShop just to get it. So it was obviously I used to my normal duel mods, but it's speed duel format. 
And they did cross field, mass field, dual lanes. I missed the speed duel when I, I should have got another Goja cards and Christ, I didn't see my tokens, but I know I, I know a lot of people like saving their tokens so they go for the Kanai book. So be sure next time save those tokens if you go for the Kanai book. You're gonna spend hours and hours waiting and playing all those demos around us. So I gotta be sure I gotta do that next time. So on my Konami booth, like I spent like hours. I got the Rescue Rabbit, the ears. I'll be wearing this on my Twitch stream. So yeah, maybe some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff around that time. I know I had a Karibo, I had a Yu-Gi when I was like going all those Konami booths just to like get some prizes. But I'm surprised they have like a, a various amount of demo plays that you can get then. I didn't get the Rescue Rabbit, sorry. I wish I did, but my favorite was in my hands. If I would have got more days, I would have got a good chance, save those tokens for later, and then the last day, I would use all of them I saved up to do that. So, be sure next time, you, if you go this something like this around there, this would be like a majority to spend hours at the Konami room. And I got a set of stickers from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duels. You can like see from there, there's the Avatar. I don't know what the world was thing, is it? You got Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I love that. Seven Stars Magician. I think that monster was from a. I think that was Luke's Ace Monster. So it's just two of the Ace Monsters that like Luke and uh, Yuga are playing. If you haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Area, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven. You might want to watch this. So yeah. And I got my Konami, then I got it. I got my Konami tokens here, right here. Well, it looks so cool. I got the set of Kaiba on Saturday. I got featured a Konami boost, so that's a peacekeeper right there. And today, and the Sunday I did, it was Buzz Lightyear. I was like, I'll have a spatial background, so yeah, I just Buzz Lightyear just to do this stuff. So he's like a like, treasure more on my YouTube history. And I got, uh, I'll think, no pads. What am I going to do with these now? I guess I'll go Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments for like all my maps I've already did so far. So they can be handy. Scrapbooking to call all my matches. So it's like sometimes they cheat around that time. You see like the life point count. And I got pins. Um, I'll just go one of them with like each one of these. I got Seto Kaiba. I got Yugi. Not a Yugi, well, two of the pins on the Duel Lanes. I got the Legacy, the Duelist. I'm surprised they didn't put that in, in, the, in the demo, so I'm quite surprised there. And a Karibo pin, which I got. Well, obviously, I got all C's. They're like all pins and pads. That's like a lot of BS's like, to get those around that time. Literally, the, it was in my favor just to get that Rescue Red. But when I pull B, I say, okay, something's definitely, I got B. It's like, what is it around that time? So that's like this item. I'm show it just to like kind of like it. Look at this now, like. It's the Yu Gi Oh! bottle. This is crazy how this is gonna seem like it though. I like the texture around there. This is legit, it's like a coffee mug right there. And you have the Konami logo here, like. Yep, this time in my coffee mug and my, you know, water bottle. So, hold on, there's something in there. Oh, oh no, it's just a lake. Sand, double water, screen. Yeah, back in installation, can say high polish and power coated finish. So, this is like valuable now. Like, wow. I get to see these products like a lot more now. Like, this is giving me my new drinking bottle and my water bottle now, so this is like pretty position right there. All this Konami stuff is like, I have a lot of shit I have to get now, like, all this is like spending my time in the Yu-Gi-Oh! booth just to like, get some of this. It's like, we're my childhood. So yeah, this shit comes in around that time in the bottle. Okay, so what is left around? The only thing is left now is the video camera. The last thing was the Yu-Gi-Oh! 10s now, so I already, I know like last year I got the 
I kept the 2020 long tins around that. I think I had 2020 tins, but I don't know where I put them on that time. I know I bought them, that's for sure. There's no money worth to do that now. Okay, so we're gonna try, we're gonna open these around that time. I'm not gonna open like that's a pack around that time to open each one of them, so I'm just gonna like rapidly just get them out of here. Like, get them out. I'm not gonna open these like one by one. We'll just gonna go for packs around that time. So it's better, more better with the packs. I'll just open these and just get them out. I'll just like, get the pack out of here. Grab another one. You can get open the pack so like, you know. Because now we already bought there are like three packs one secret, two ultra, super, and one rare. So we're going to open all nine of them at once. Like, get them all out. That's six I got now. At least got to keep these tins, like, you know. I'm collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards and just like dust collecting now. One server already just like put legendary duelists together to make certain decks. I'm gonna make room for badges too, cause literally, that's why, that's why I gotta buy Yu-Gi-Oh tins. I gotta store all my comp badges now. I mean, this will be like a childhood dream, you know. Right, now you open, open all my tins now. Now for the fun. Open these bad boys now, like nine packs already now. All right, I'm just gonna shovel these up around that time, so like you know, get some lady luck on me now. Whew. I'm gonna give this a good shuffle around that time, just like get the tins. Man, I got a good deal on it, like found like two or four or forty around that time. I really like those deals. This will like keep them on store, so I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like this here. We'll open them now. Okay. Let's pack. Right, here we go. Ready for this? Well, I got a whole other thing in there. I want my face to be looking around low. Well, I think the camera kind of needs to be around. You know what? This would be a lot easier. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna be good. Let me take a look at this. We got a D. So funny. This is kind of a sick flavor. I'm going to be fighting with Blader. One Mega Donut. Have a run. This is an Anani. Dark Pirate. Oh, okay. Dragon Lord Dispersia. Okay. So, that's a pretty good start. So they gave us like two silver, one secret, and two ultras. So, they're busting that tin like a lot now. Okay, so that's that for that first set, the first pack. Okay, so we're on pack number two now. It's like the $50 around that time. That's like one chance to get it. Alright. Two more times. Arm Dragon Flash, I Virtual Art, Great World Game View, Contract of Exist, that's a good card. Dark World No More, Day Spring, uh, Clearitis. Okay. So that's a, okay, that's a good set there. Like, okay. I'm gonna pull a step around my farm. I'm gonna pull the other card in here. Pack number three. This one's pretty slowly now, like, there's a lot around this, like, I don't need to be like getting the TV. Oh, I should put the food around that time. That's the way I draw it. Albert, not gonna rule four, magical cylinders. Oh! Start a synchron! I need that card! Yes! You see card right there? Everyone, Evans, and Biscuit, and Flo Dries, my name is Oh, I remember that card. That was that Flo Dries cancer deck that's been like going on on Master Duel. I hate that deck. It's like cancerous, the cake they go to stone around that time, you gotta be cute though, so I dealt with that before. So I started a snake run. It's a good car. 
see my next pathway look like. Well, so, hold on. Uh, the Arm Dragon 10, level 10 wait. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, okay! That's the card that Chaz uses for White Knight Veil. And one white veil, you're begging him. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the white veil, white veil, right, yeah. That's the one our sage. Okay, I know this card, I can do a link. Ghost Mirror, Moonlight Kill, Dragon White Heron, Stardust Trial. Oh, yeah! Awesome! Red Eyes Dark Dragoon! Oh my god! This is a good pull! This was, it was like $90 around that time, but I pulled a secret rare that everyone has to get quick diamonds! That's a score right there! Like, oh my god! I got a Dark Dragoon! This is a plus one right there! Oh my god! That was a good pull! I couldn't even get that card, but that is like on the stretch of there! I'm gonna rerun Red Eyes and Dark Edition now! Yeah, 
Big bad boy now, like <laughs> only one card able to do that. I guess Greg Goo. I would probably do this. I forgot to mention around the time I, I forgot to present this like this thing for the speed duels it was like a, a random deck 20 cards as well and I got it but I did got a couple cards like for speed duels when I was doing the demo I was like I know what I was doing this is like dual links around that time but I'll just like a lot almost a lot shittier though but if you see like you may want to play speed duels around that time just let me know because I know it's not the same as dual links rap but it's like almost like this one more competitive kind of I forgot like point that up at the end, like uh, all the um, stuff I pulled out like from the tins. So yeah, is that a side note? Oh boy, if you guys want to get this like a video like and comment on that time, you might want to get more tins. That's like holiday season right there. Well, at least I'm to make a trip to Anime NYC, and then the winter time I'll be going to you back to Yu Gi Oh tournaments because off break cosplay is like I'm just gonna like chill out. It's just like you know. I still gotta make some promise of content around that time. It's still like boost up the whole like YouTube ch channel list so breeze up. So everybody I hope you like this video. This is like a whole Yu-Gi-Oh shebang loot right there. I didn't even get a bar to get a new binder from there. But I'll just go to a local card shop to get a cheaper one. I know Target has one. I need to get more pages around it because I still got more Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you stack on more rarity. So I just set sort of everything. So hope you guys like this video, but if this video is like a thumbs up to do this because I need to get more tins around it. I would have spent a secret or something that good around that time. But the Red Dragoon, it just nailed that shit right there. Alrighty. So, 
Well, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope I'll do it again. But it'll be like anime or C or just any big comic do it. So it's like I like to share bigger loot, not just lesser loot. Just to do that. So this one's just gonna push my channel all the way up. So till next time, YouTube. <laughs>